Hey guys, uh, welcome to Isha Training Solutions. Uh, there's this wonderful guy called Ritesh who, you know, who has asked me a question today. Okay, so he said, Kumar sir, um, I, I, have, I have a bunch of 23 scripts. Okay, so what he said is, I have 23 scripts. Okay, so every release, every release, okay, there will be certain changes. Release, okay, release, okay, so uh, whatever, you know, just ignore the spelling mistakes, guys. So every Okay, so every release, you know, there will be certain changes in these 23 scripts. Okay, so the same changes every release, there will be there will be same changes in these 23 scripts. Okay, so same changes in this 23, there will be same changes in this 23 scripts. Okay, so I have to go, I have to go to each script and make those changes. Okay, I have to go to each script and make those changes, which means that he has to open each of those 23 scripts, like script one, make the changes, open the script two, make the same changes, open the script three, make the same changes. So is there a workaround for this so that you know my life becomes easy? okay what i have suggested is create a function okay create a function and where these changes are there okay create a function and put the code okay put that piece of code put that okay piece of code which changes okay which changes all the time all the time which changes all the time for each release okay for each release Okay. <coughs> e -I -E okay so what you do is create a function one function and put that piece of code which is changing each release into that and call this function into all these 24 scripts call this function into these 23 scripts okay the advantage of this is the advantage of this is now the new release has come let's say release okay release whatever you call it you know we usually call this with the year okay so fiscal year okay uh, to now which is what 2021 right 2021 okay release 3 okay so release 3 so let's say now new release which is 2021 release 3 let's assume that's the release okay now there are changes there are changes okay now you go back and make those changes in one single place which is this function and automatically all the 23 scripts which are calling this function will have those changes will be applicable okay so this is what i have suggested him now kumar sir now the next question which ritesh asked is kumar sir how do i call this function into these 23 scripts or whatever the scripts how do i call it or and all that for that what i will do is okay so just for the demonstration purposes i have created one function okay so which i have placed it in my d folder which is extra functions.c let me open that in my uh, notepad i've created two functions okay one is think time function and one is error handling so these are the two functions which are present as a part of this extra functions.c which is there in my d drive which is there in my d drive okay i've already created these functions okay and if you wanted to see how to create the function and all that i've created a, a video on that okay so uh, already it's there in my youtube okay so let me switch on my internet okay so it's already there on my youtube okay if you just say uh, c function in load runner okay if you just say that okay so hang on my internet is not back on okay yeah c functions in load runner no 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 or how to call a function okay call a function in load runner or view gen just go to videos okay so the first or the second video okay so you see the first video is my video creating functions in view gen so this video is already there you can go and uh, look at this video creating functions in view gen so that how, how you know how to create these functions and all that now in this video i'm going to show you just how to call this 
functions into your scripts okay so these functions are there in your um, in your file called extra functions.c which is there in your d drive now i'm like i'm gonna call that function okay so let's say this is my script one in the script one i need to call this function called think time function i need to call this function called think time function okay just go to the action and call this function called think time function okay and uh, here you have to give the think time i've given it as one second okay now uh, is this fine kumar uh, how does my script one know where is this think time function is there the think time function is there in the function called extra functions dot c which is there in the day drive how will my script know that this function it needs to go and execute this function you know these two steps which is there in the extra functions dot c okay how, do, how does my code knows that's a very good question what you do is go to globals dot hatch in the go globals dot hatch you say hash include and extra functions dot c okay and you have to include the path as well because your view gen doesn't know where this file is so you have to give the path as well so this file is there in which path in the d drive okay d drive and then and then your extra functions dot c now this script it is a part of the library file so now if you include the thing time functions dot c it will go to your view gen and see usually it has to be there in this extra function dot c should be as a part of this file okay typically that's how it should be okay but since it is not there here since it is not there here what it will do it will go to this globals and it will check you know is there is is there in a, in any one of those libraries any one of those four libraries since it is there as a part of this library which is d extra functions dot c it will go to this file okay it will go to this file and then it will check all the functions uh, and it will check will it be there uh, is it there with a think time function is it there as a part of this file if it it will check if it is there it will go ahead and execute that if it is not there obviously it will throw the error okay obviously it will throw the error so kumar just go ahead and execute it i wanted to see if it is being executed the think time of one second is being executed or not okay you see the think time of one second is being executed so kumar i'm still not satisfied i'm not sure that you know it is being executed or not you see I have that's the reason why I've put this LR output message think time executed. Let me check if that is there or not. You see, think time executed, and where it is there, it is there in the D drive extra functions. This is the output log. So you see, it is being executed. To be sure, okay, uh, it is being executed or not. Once again, let me put three seconds as a think time. So which means that there is an extra waiting time of three seconds. Okay. Oh. Three seconds is not there. Maybe in my runtime settings, I'm saying ignore think time. Okay, so let me see. Yeah, ignore think time is there. Replay think time as recorded. Now let me go ahead and execute. So it will wait for three seconds now. You see, LR think time of three seconds is being executed. You see, LR think time of three seconds is being executed. Now you know that 100% this function is being executed. Now you have 23 functions, right? I'm gonna say script script two. Script two is your second script. Okay, script two. In the script two, also I need to call that piece of code. Okay, again I have to go to globals dot h and I have to say hash include. Make sure the color changes. Double quotes. It is there in the D drive. Okay, and the file name is extra functions dot c. Properties. Uh, just go to D drive. Not this one. Okay, and then double quotes. Okay, now this is the first step you're gonna do. You add that extra functions dot c into the library. Okay, so that uh, um, uh, uh, I mean that library. It, it uh, uh, you know uh, just say hash include and then that, that library name. Okay, so that my script knows that you know uh, it has to go and it has to check this file as well. Okay, and then just call this function whatever that function is think time control space no it is not showing i think it's a capital thing thing right? think, think let me see what is the file name uh, the function name okay think time function think time function if you will 
CTL. But one thing I have observed is the color changes. You know, if it identifies, then the color changes. Okay. Uh, if you have given the name incorrectly, okay, still it is changing the color. Okay, it is bolding up. But anyways, fine. So now let me go ahead and see if this is being executed or not. Check the lock. Okay, uh, let me go to runtime settings and you set think time replay as think uh, as recorded let me go ahead and execute it now you see think time of 5 seconds is being executed okay and it will also uh, i have done an lr output message it will also print out that message okay let me go to that log you see think time executed okay so this part this thing think time executed this output message is also shown up which means that it is executing this function it is executing this function okay so like this in all the 23 scripts you can call this function okay and now the next release all you do is go make the changes in this script whatever the changes it is there just go ahead and change it over here so that it is applicable in all the 23 scripts you need not have to go and make the changes in each of those 23 scripts okay thank you guys and good luck Ritesh I hope this video will help you thank you take care bye